Good day to each of you. I'm glad we get to spend a few moments together here at Devo today. We're going through 1 Kings presently. We're in the 8th chapter, picking it up with the 41st verse. It says, Moreover, concerning a foreigner who is not of your people, Israel, but has come from a far country for your name's sake, For they will hear of your great name, your strong hand, and your outstretched arm. When he comes and prays toward this temple, remember Solomon was building this temple. Now this temple has been built, and now they're talking about um, people that are Gentiles, not Jewish people, not people of Hebrew descent. So it's not part of the the nation Israel, but they're foreigners that have come. They're going to hear about how great God is, and then they're going to come, and he's saying... Um, when they come and pray toward this temple, verse 43, here in heaven your dwelling place and do according to all uh, for which the foreigner calls to you that all peoples of the earth may know your name and fear you as do your people Israel and that they may know that this temple which I have built is called by your name. I love Solomon's heart of inclusion. I I, I like this. I think this is important for us as Christians. In Christianity, it should never be the frozen chosen. It should never be us four and no more. Our our thoughts should be so far from that. We should be very interested. You see, in engaging other people in Christianity and what it means to be a born-again believer. I'm not talking about some religious idea about Christianity. I'm talking about there's only one way to be a Christian, that's being a born-again Christian. And here, when we're talking about this, this is like almost like a foreshadowing to me. I look at it as like, this was God's real heart because ultimately, when Jesus was crucified, the Holy of Holies was covered by this big, giant curtain, very thick, heavy curtain. It was very high, and it rent, the Bible describes, from top to bottom, that God was basically declaring open house. See, that's really God's heart is that the nation Israel was a chosen people, is a chosen people. They are, to this day, a chosen people. And they are chosen for a singular purpose, that is to reveal who God is to the nations around, just like the church, the body of Christ, is to do that same thing. And so when we look at this and we see how Solomon's heart was for all of the foreigners to be able to come, there was a place called the outer court, and that's where the foreigners could come. They didn't have the same access at that time, but God made a way through his son, Jesus Christ, and he formed this new group called the church, some from the nation Israel, some from Jewish descent, and some from the Gentiles, and formed a new people group called the church, the body of Christ. And that's what we want to continue to be a part of. We also want to be very inclusive. We want to include others that they too can come to know Jesus Christ. You remember the Bible says, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance so that we would come and know Jesus Christ in a personal way. We're talking about relationship. Stay on the trail. God's going to teach us some great things as we, as we continue to go forward. God bless you.